Hello and welcome to the MicroStation Connect Edition Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant with Manly Systems. Today's video will be on how to edit a camera or what we call define camera. Launch MicroStation Connect Edition. Set the workspace to Bentley Connect Training. The work set to visualization and load the A underbar station model underbar MS DGN5. Now setting the um, view using the icons on the define camera dialog box takes a little bit of practice to get it down uh, pretty well. The one major tip that I can give you is to make small corrections. We have a camera view already, and uh, this is actually a named view or a saved view called a view of platform two. We can just go ahead and uh, make sure that we're in the visualization workflow, the home tab, and the camera group. And we're going to click on edit and we're going to select define camera. We went over in a video how to grab the handles on the view cone and, and alter the camera that way and define the camera that way or edit the camera that way. There's a more visual way of doing it. And we need typically a top view and a front view and a perspective view. Here we're just going to be working in the perspective view. We're not going to see the view cone. We're going to use the icons here at the top. So we have pan, we have pan horizontal, we have pan vertical, we have roll, dolly elevate, uh, dolly, lens and focal length, uh, lens view angle, and uh, pan dolly. What's really, really important is reference point. If you take a look at reference point, that's going to be our stationary point. So right now, our reference point is set to target. That means that my target is going to be stationary. I'm going to be moving my eye. So if I do pan horizontal and I left click in the screen and move my cursor, you see that my eye is moving and my target is staying stationary. I'm going to set that down by left clicking. And I'm going to change my reference point from target to eye. That means my eye point is going to be stationary. Left click in the screen. And now you see my viewpoint is moving and my eye is staying stationary. Now it's just like looking around the scene. Remember, reference point refers to my stationary point. My eye is stationary or my target is stationary. When I click on these pan horizontal and I left click in the screen, you can see it just moves horizontal. If I change it to this one, which is pan vertical, and left click in the screen, then I'm panning vertical. That's all I move, vertical. So it really limits my motion on what I can do. Roll will allow me to roll my scene. So I'm going to right click and stop that process. And then the next one, dolly elevate, that means that I can move to the left and to the right. And in this instance here, I move down and I can move up. So this actually moves horizontal and vertical all the time, which is called dolly elevate. And you can see my eye point is moving here. On the dolly elevate command, if I change my point to target, you see it still kind of reacts the same way. That does not pertain. So reference point does not pertain to dolly elevate just the pan horizontal and pan vertical. Now we have a dolly, and that is basically going to push forward and backwards. So left click in the screen, I can push forward, move up my cursor, move my cursor down and push backwards. But it does it on the line of my view, right? You can see as I move back, I'm getting closer to the ground. As I move forward, I'm getting farther up in the air. That's the angle of my view. My eye point is lower than my target point. So I'm following that angle. It's called dolly. Uh, we have a lens focal length. And again, it kind of looks like I'm doing the same thing, but I'm actually changing the focal length of my lens. It is doing something different, but I'm actually changing the focal distance of my lens. View angle, 
this is wide and narrow again kind of looks like i'm actually changing the angle of my lens and then pan dolly and go backwards left and right and up and down and I can move forward and I can move backwards, kind of like a walkthrough if you take a look at it the right way. But I'm also on the angle that my view is at right now. It would be very good to be using these commands if I know that my eye point and my viewpoint are on the same elevation, that I'm gonna be moving forward and backwards and left and right at the same angle. All right, those are very, very quickly the icons here. Again, you have to practice with them a little bit but I don't have to have three views up to use them. So thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.